When you just don't seem to have as much to lose Strange how the night moves With autumn closing in Cycle Club. Thank you for viewing this video of Mob. And help Andrew Graff, Master Andrew Graff, please tell us what type of moth this is, if you can. Uh, we don't know the name of it. Uh, it's a common moth, we know that. A species and um, Jenny, uh, we don't know. I don't know at least. Uh, Maybe you can help her with us. Uh, Mr. Graff is a entomologist, uh, studying to be, and he knows a lot about uh, insects and animals also. So we're gonna ask him for his help on identifying this moth. And also there's another species, a uh, genus of moth uh, in this video also. And we're gonna ask him to uh, maybe help uh, share some information on it if he can. And, uh, name of it okay here you're seeing a moth that i found in the in my area here in houston texas very beautiful creature um i can say a lot about its coloring and markings from what i know about it um Whether it uses it for defense, uh, I know it for certain. It uses uses it for camouflage to uh, hide itself from uh, predators, things that would attack it for its uh, to be eating. So it uses this coloration for that, and also maybe it uses it for some methods of means uh, to attack another creature. Well, anyway. Uh, I really love this creature. You hear me sing it to it. It, I can feel it. Uh, I know it. Being uh, in tune with uh, other creatures, as I am, biblical wise, uh, godly wise, I knew the creature had some fear of my presence, my essence, my body, my being, and so I, I was trying to relate to it, uh, commune with it. That it had no reason that I was crush it in my hands or step on it or anything. I, I did eventually set the creature uh, free. You'll see it in this video. Okay, I'm going to just let you watch some images uh, of, on this video of this creature. Uh, also, uh, whereas I set the creature free and back into the wild uh, nature, you'll see that also. Um, uh, at the end of the video, I'll probably come in and show you some uh, videos of some uh, good eating, good eating. What I mean by good eating is I found a moth, another one, uh, that was in my garden on my cucumber plants. And so I took some uh, pictures of the, no videos, only pictures of this moth, and we're asking Mr. Graff if he can identify that moth also. It's a common moth, okay? And also, uh, while I was at it, I went ahead and took some pictures of some uh, vegetables that I was growing, and let you know, we eat good around here, but I'm not trying to grow anything that would hurt the human race, like, um, giant creatures or anything by feeding them and purposely growing them because I, I I wouldn't I don't condone that
because those things uh, without actually knowing Yahweh the true Lord and Savior uh, would grow big enough to uh, injure mankind and even maybe even try to dominate but in my Bible it tells uh, mankind to have dominion over uh, other creatures and I don't doubt it <laughs> I must have it by the way <laughs> okay that being said uh, we're gonna ask Mr. Graff to uh, identify this and by the way please subscribe to uh, Andrew Graff uh, the fighting captain America I wouldn't say fighting he's really a lovable guy uh, Mr. Captain America guy type and so uh, and I also uh, recommend you taking classes from him or asking him to teach you um, fencing, the art of fencing. He's great at that. Anyway, uh, plugging him because he always helps me identify uh, certain things. So, um, that being said, uh, there's some photos at the end of the uh, video, towards the end of uh, another moth and some nice vegetables that I grew, tomatoes um, and cucumber plants, okay? And uh, also a moth, thank you. So uh, you probably won't hear me anymore throughout this video, like I said, maybe at the end, uh, but just enjoy this this scenario, the scenarios I'm showing you now on the screen. And uh, by the way, uh, I didn't injure the uh, creature at all. And you'll see it moving uh, throughout the video. Okay? Thank you so much for tuning in to the Psycho Club. Thank you. And matter of fact, be sure to tune in and like this. Matter of fact, be sure to like this video and leave your comment. And be sure, whether good or bad, we accept them all. And be sure to uh, tune in to the Psycho Club for great viewing and great programming. Thank you.
Oh, I hadn't started it. Okay. Let's let it get nestled again here. It's using its camouflage capabilities. To uh, protect itself, hide itself. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's watch it use its camouflage capabilities. And so then we'll put it right here. There we go. It's gonna hide under the greenery, blend in with the surrounding area. Like for instance, this leaves here, or these brown twigs you see here, or here, under the greenery. Let's see if we can probe it to cause it to actually go into more hiding. Or maybe it's going there now. What it's thinking is pretty well here now. It's blending in with this. So it's gonna open up his wings. I think I'm gonna to have to move it. I see an ant has made it on the scene. Very deadly creature to it. Well, I've disturbed the ant bed. <laughs> right there are some ants. Mm. 
I think I should relocate this creature. It's in a pretty dangerous spot. Starting to come around quite more. Let's see if we can hide in this box. There you go. I'm going to put it in a more secure place and leave it be. I think the ants will get it right here. But I 
think under here. Should be safe. There it should be safe. They seem to know that too. I should know where it's at in the morning. I'll come back and check. What's going on up in there? Do things are safe with me. Okay? Okay. Should be alright in there. <laughs>